G'day, I'm Matt Davey. Today I'm working on the Nucleus Hive and moving it into a full depth hive, 10 frame box. Uh, this one over here. So uh, let's see how we go. It's been a bit windy. and see how the bees are today. This is a double Nucleus Hive and there's four frames in each. So we need to add uh, two frames. So I have a plastic frame here that has had brood in it before. So I'm just putting these on the outside, these empty ones. And this is my frame that I cut up from the other video where I showed wax foundation on bamboo sticks. So that'll encourage the bees to draw out the wax and build a new comb on that one. So let's move these uh, frames over. So we're taking two from each side and putting them on each outside edge. And then the ones on the bottom we put in the center of this box. So I'll use the frame grabber again. It has been fairly windy, um, so we'll just try and not disturb the bees too much at this stage. Just have a quick look and see if there's any signs of queen cells being made. So we've got brood right to the outside edge and there's a mixture of drone brood and worker brood there. Put that on the outside. Next frame over, it's got brood of all different stages. So this one, again, quite a lot of brood up this top. I'll just put this over here. So we've got this next outside frame in there. Again, more brood. On that outside. And even brood right to the outside. get the bees to go down. These top bars aren't too built up with burr comb, so it's fairly clean. Loosening off those frames there. A bit more smoke. This frame is fairly empty. Just some pollen. So I might actually move that over to the outside edge because it doesn't look like there's any eggs. So I'll move this over. So I am seeing a bit of brood over here, but this one again is fairly empty. So lots of pollen, but no actual eggs. We 
looks like a bit of mould around the bottom corners and sides as well. So again, I might move that over. The outer edge more. Keep all the brood central. So our next frame has brood on it. There's a bit of chalk brood in there. And that's probably what the spottiness is caused by is the chalk brood. See that. And our last frame again looks fairly empty. So obviously the bees have moved their nest up into the top box. So this has got nectar on it. And again, looks fairly mouldy around the edges. Let's again put this outside to the outer edge. And leave all the brood towards the middle. Into that. As we did the other day, I'm just going to empty out the rest of the bees in the front of the hive, um, just because there can be a lot of rubbish and there can be hive beetles in the bottom around the edges there. So if you shake them out, the bees will go in and less likely to get beetles coming in with them. And there's a hive beetle right there. So if you look down here, you can see there's bees fanning and that'll encourage the rest of the bees that are outside hanging underneath there to go into the rest of the hive. And we'll just smoke these and put on our hive mat. This is just a plywood board with um, some map pins, so they're a 6mm map pin. And I find that works quite well because that's the bee spacing right there. And we don't get as many bees getting squashed. We can do that. So that just fits on like that. So we've now rehomed the nucleus hive into a full size box. Got plenty of room to grow. They've got a few frames that are still empty, uh, so they should be fine for at least a few weeks now as they continue to grow into swarm season. We've got uh, a bit of chalk brood there we need to keep an eye on, but uh, hopefully that'll clear up as the weather warms up.